Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 12 inch by 2 inch corrosion resistant left hand and right hand free backing hydraulic drum brake assemblies with the parking brake and these are for a 7,000 pound axle. Now these hydraulic drum brake assemblies are designed for use with a surge type trailer brake actuator. These we mentioned are a free backing design and the free backing design lets you reverse without the trailer brakes being activated and they do that because the hydraulic pressure is contained by the wheel cylinder and the brake chute turns and releases pressure when it's reversing. Now the free backing design we mentioned, you can tell if the brake assembly has a free backing design and the easiest way is you look at the primary shoe. The primary shoe will have a D shape to it, you can see right here and that'll let you know that it is a free backing design assembly. Now the brake shoes themselves, they are lined with automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded, not riveted to the shoes for a nice long life, more braking torque. The backing plate, if we swing this around, if you look at the backing plate, it has a corrosion resistant coating on it and the springs that are used in the assembly are stainless steel springs. So these assemblies are great for marine applications. <clears throat> now the left hand driver side, the right hand passenger side brake assemblies, and the way you can tell if they're left hand or right hand, now of course when you get a new assembly it'll have a sticker on it that tells you that, but if that sticker wasn't on there, the way, the easiest way to tell is you look at the length of the pad that's on the shoe. So if you look at this one, the pad goes from here down to here. And if you look at the shoe back here, it's all the way from here to here. So the shorter pad is the primary shoe, and the primary shoe will always face the front of the trailer when you install it. So that means it's going to be on this side, which is the right-hand passenger side. And the same way on this other one, the shorter shoe is the primary shoe. That'll face the front of the trailer, so this will be the left-hand driver side assembly. Now these are a manual adjustment brake assembly. You can see the adjustment wheel down here at the bottom. It does require periodic manual adjustment. These do have the built-in manual parking brake lever, so they will work with a trailer that already has a parking brake. If you do want to add a parking brake, we also sell the frame-mounted brake lever and cables separately on our website. They're part number T2385200, and they are listed on this product page as a related product. Now these do fit, if you turn it over, you can see the five holes here. They will fit a five bolt brake mounting flange bolt pattern. And if you noticed, the, the nuts are included with the washers attached to them for installing them. These parts are made in the USA. Again, the specs fits axles that are rated at 7,000 pounds. Now the size we mentioned is 12 inch by 2 inch. And what those measurements are, the 12 inch is the diameter. So if we measure it straight across here with a ruler, you'll be able to see there's your 12 inch measurement. The two inches wide is gonna be the width of the pad. So we put that, there's your two inch. And these do require 12 inch brake drums. And the wheel size that'll fit over these assemblies are 16 inches and larger. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter 12 inch by two inch corrosion resistant left hand and right hand free backing hydraulic drum brake assemblies with the parking brake.